All right, so while I'm in my car, let's discuss actually the difference between vaginal mixed infection or mixed vaginal infection and a vaginal co-infection because there's a very big difference actually between the two. Okay, for mixed vaginal infection, usually there is more than one organism that's causing the symptomatology that the patient is experiencing. For example, if a patient has candidiasis with concomitant bacterial vaginosis, the patient may be actually experiencing vaginal itchiness accompanied by watery vaginal discharge that is foul smelling or fishy in odor all right okay as opposed to vaginal co-infection wherein there may be uh, more than one organism that's actually present in the vagina however only one of the organisms are um, is um, the culprit for the symptoms that the patient is experiencing. Uh, for example, the patient has bacterial vaginosis, however, there is a subclinical infection of candidiasis, but mo uh, majority of the time, the patient is just experiencing watery vaginal discharge, which is actually foul smelling and maybe actually copious and um, white to light gray in color. So if there's a difference in the symptomatology, definitely there will be a difference in treatment. In terms of mixed vaginal infection, we need to treat both organisms. So usually this is where the combination um, preparations of um, uh, antibiotics are given, like uh, a combination of metronidazole and dinidazole. Uh, usually we don't um, really have to give it for a prolonged period of time, but it there is a recommendation the time frame for treatment of all um, infections naman. Okay, so we only give extended treatment for actually um, vulvovaginal infections that are recurrent or are persistent. Okay, so for co-infections, we usually treat the primary um, organism that's actually causing the symptomatology. So if the patient actually has co-infection but is actually experiencing, just experiencing vaginal pruritus or itchiness, then we treat, treat actually the organism that causes the itchiness, which is probably candida. Or if the patient is actually having a co-infection but her symptomatology is more of a watery vaginal discharge that has a fishy odor, then we treat it as bacterial vaginosis. But at the end of the day, what's important is you actually go to your doctor, have yourself checked. Please do not self-medicate. Um, uh, vaginal hygiene is still very important. Uh, using the right feminine wash, which will actually promote the um, the acidic pH of the vagina, which will help you heal faster and better, is actually also recommended. Okay, so with that, hopefully, this very short video was very informative and helpful. Um, thanks for watching, and I just hope everybody stays safe, stays healthy, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.